So for this little tutorial, we're just going to have a look at setting the preferences up for modeling in Maya. So by default, Maya comes uh, set up with its preferences set to centimeters, which is fine when you're working within Maya and you just want to use Maya scenes. But when we start to get into things like dynamics and when we start to change uh, our packages, so we use different packages, as part of the pipeline to uh, make game assets this can start to have an impact so if we uh, go in change to meters click save the first thing we see is that our grid has sort of changed because obviously it was on a, a centimeter grid and now it's a meter grid so we have to zoom out we have to pan the camera out a little bit which is what we've just done with the middle mouse wheel or we can press F but if we have a look at the other four views, we can see that those are also the same as well. So we'd maybe hit F in each one of these, and then we're, we're in the right sort of uh, grid space in now to start modeling. So if we build our first model, there's our first model. It's now one meter. We can just check the stats that we've got in the polycube. It says it's one by one by one, and it says that it's also one by one by one scale. So this is now a meter cube, which is great. If we start to move the cube about, and we, we're just going to move the cube towards the edge of the grid, you can see that we start to clip the, 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 actual, the actual object out. So if we're modeling anything within sort of a 10 meter uh, radius, we're okay, but after that we start to clip and we, we lose the, the object. And the same would be if we were moving it in the y-axis or in the z-axis. So there's a problem with the clipping plane for a start. So we need to then go into every camera, select the camera, go into the attributes and change the clip plane so that we use maybe a thousand and um, instead of a hundred we might, we might change it to a thousand but more importantly we actually need to change where the actual uh, object is. So the camera itself, if we select the camera, you can see that the, ca the camera itself is actually only 10.1 units high. So this is a problem, we need to move that camera out further and we need to move the clipping pane. So if we do this for every camera and we do it every time we set up a new scene, it can become quite time consuming. So this is where we need to start looking at creating our own little scripts to help us along. So the first thing we should do is open up the script editor and uh, in here I've got some scripts already written. So we'll just clear everything out and we'll start from scratch. So we'll just clear up and down. We're going to work with Mel. We could work with the Python language, but Mel works better for creating little um, shelf uh, shortcuts, I found. So we're just going to go in and start a new scene. And you see that our first command has been generated in there. So that's great. We're then uh, going to go into our Windows and Preferences and into our settings and we're going to set that to meters. Now we can write some code that will do that bit for us uh, but just for now we're just going to clear that out and we're just going to start with the actual cameras we want to work with. So if we select the uh, if we select the camera in the top view and we see that the camera has a translation of 10 we can set that translation to 100 and we've got a translation command being put in there we can also change this the attribute for far clipping plane to maybe 500 so those two attributes we can just copy and paste into our mel scripting editor which is just underneath it's not really an editor it's it's more of a, a notepad where we can just hold everything so the next thing that we need to do is we need to do this for the other cameras. So we can do it for this camera. So we need to do it for the other cameras. So we can go to the front view, set the camera's focal the camera light the distance and we can then set set the attribute for the clipping plane 
as well. Set this to 500. Okay, so we can just copy that one. Drop that one in. Copy this one. Drop this one in. And then the last one we can put in is the side view. And again, we'll just set this to 100 and we'll set the clipping plane to 500. Okay, so the Mel Mel Editor now has those in. We can just grab those. And we've got the attributes all set up. So now what we need to do is just highlight all these attributes, these uh, commands, middle mouse, click and drag, and drop that onto our shelf. I'm going to hit the new scene button just so we can see this work. So this is a new scene. We'll just show that the preferences are set to centimeters still. So I'm going to set those to meters, click save. And then I'm just going to make sure that we can see this. So I'm going to select the camera so you can see that we've got 10 and we've got 100. But when we press the Mel script now, that's been set to 100 and that's been set to 500 and that's the same for every camera. So if we hit Shift F, we can actually just zoom out. So just by creating that little Mel script, if we want, we can go in and edit it. So we just click on the edit button. And in here we can change things like the shelf name. So for instance, uh, shelf name could be just quick uh, MTR, quick meter. Save all shelves and there we've got that quick meter up there just to be a, a quick command for us. So this is quite useful when we're starting to get into modeling. As you can see now we're modeling away, everything's set, correct, scale, so everything's good. And uh, this is a quick way of just grabbing some of your code that you're actually commands that, you, that you're doing often and just making these little quick shelf uh, icons. You could do it for many, many different things. You could do it for uh, freeze transforms, center pivot point, delete history. You could have a quick button that just does that if that's what you do a lot. So instead of doing three commands, you're doing one command and it all works quite well. Uh, just one of the other things as well to show you as well, just before we, we, we are finished on this, the uh, windows down the side, they're editable as well. So right mouse clicking on these windows makes it, you can actually uh, change them. So this one in particular, I like to use a lot for uh, UV mapping. Uh, but when it comes in, it comes in with a front view. Uh, so if you just right mouse click on that and uh, you just go into the edit layout in here on the panel, you can change how the layouts look. So this one's two side by side. You can change the contents so that this one has, instead of the front panel, you have a UV map editor. And we click close. So this is scene dependent. We can have it associated with the scene. So just click OK, close. And then this one could be as well. This could be sort of uh, saved out. So we could then save current layout. And uh, we could call this. Um, UVP. Click OK. So that's now the UVP layout. And then again, if we went in here, we could uh, we could change this. So you can see that that's actually being selected as being something that we could maybe drop onto shelf or something. So four view UVP. It's all cool. So it makes um, makes it for easy access.